Metaphors are a great way to visually describe concepts to your audience. By using recognizable images, you'll have an easier time connecting with your listeners during your presentations. Let's take a look at three ways to make the most out of them. Use relatable images. Most of the information we process is visual, more so if the images are relevant to your audience. Words and images like bridges, back doors, or springboards can carry your points across faster compared to technical explanations. By using descriptions that your audience can relate to, unfamiliar concepts become more understandable. Move past cliches. Avoid overused phrases such as early birds for adapting quickly or bullseye for business goals. Everybody else has already run these words into the ground, so use something else to avoid being lost in a sea of familiar sounding presentations. To get your points across faster, use metaphors that are specific to your topics. For example, tech-oriented audiences will understand tech-related metaphors, while investors prefer number-related comparisons. Understand your audience's expectations and your topic first. Once you do, you'll be able to use relevant descriptions to push past these common cliches. Match your slides with the right images. To effectively engage your audience, your slide should illustrate the metaphors you use. This makes your words more understandable and memorable. Unique metaphors are a great way to enhance your slides. Instead of stock images, you can perfectly illustrate your points with a powerful visual metaphor, which can either be literal or a little more creative. By translating your ideas into specific but relatable images, you can give your audience a unique and powerful presentation that shows rather than tells. Keep it simple, keep it clear. Technical explanations and buzzwords only clutter your presentation. By using metaphors, your descriptions become more accurate and relevant to your topic. Make the most out of metaphors and people will remember you for months to come.